Andy Grant is a speaker and life coach, founder of Real Men Feel, Real Men Feel, which focuses on encouraging men to allow and express all of their emotions. Men should express their emotions. Andy, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. It's my pleasure to be here. Yes, sir. And so you are a life coach, a speaker and a life coach as well. Um, how long have you been a life coach? I began coaching in 2010. And what is what brought you, what made you decide, you know what, I'm going to be a life coach? <laughs> it was because I had so much difficulty in my own life. I was a very depressed and suicidal teenager. And as I grew into adulthood, I started doing all the self-reflection and self-growth, and I found tools that helped me. Every, everything I learned to use with clients is something I first learned to literally save my own life. All right. And what caused you as a child, a young person, to become suicidal? Did you say suicidal? Or Correct. De suicidal and Both. depressed. What caused that for you? Well, it's, it's a litany of things. It wasn't just one thing, but my parents divorced when I was about five years old. I have no memory of my parents being together. My dad suffered from alcoholism and mental illness. And at the same time that they divorced, I began being molested by a neighbor. So I really, from a young age, thought the world was not safe. I didn't think I could trust adults. I didn't think I could trust men. And I just, I shut down. And, you know, I thought I would, uh, my dad would always tell me that high school were the best years of your life. So I grew up thinking, well, I'll just live those best years and then I'll be done. And so how did, have you, are you still dealing with those things or have you overcome them? I really believe that if you've ever seriously contemplated suicide, that thought will always be lingering. It's kind of waiting for moments of weakness and doubt to rise up. So um, I don't think I've had any thoughts for about couple, two years, but I have not made any attempt on my life since my early 20s. And so do you still have conflict within? Oh, sure. As a human being, I believe that, that conflict might, uh, might probably never stop. And what type of conflict do you have? Uh, you know, the biggest ones might be just, just doubts and, you know, who am I to share my story? Who am I to help people, right? Do I, do, I, do I know enough? Does sharing my experience actually benefit anybody? Those sort of things, probably. And do you believe that you can completely overcome those conflict and, and live a life of conflict-free life? Yes. And how? Huh. By accepting all aspects of myself, by recognizing and owning my own divinity, my, my life force, my connection to God, my connection to everything. And so have you done that? It's an ongoing process, I would say. Some, some days feel completely in alignment. And again, others, because as a human being, there, are, there can be doubts that, that creep in. You know, there are, there are uh, you know, dark nights of the soul and, you know, clouds of mood and energy. Um, but for the most part, I feel connected, feel engaged, and feel on purpose every day. Are you on medication, too, for your depression? No, sir. You don't take anything at all? No. Oh, okay. And so how are you coach? Life coach mean that you talk to people and tell them how to live every day? I do not tell people how to live. I help them uncover their best way to live. I focus on authenticity. I focus on helping people realize what beliefs and conditioning they have that they're following that doesn't actually serve them, right? If, if your definition of a man comes from a man who was miserable and unhappy and didn't enjoy his life, there's no reason to try to live by that definition. And so do, do you enjoy and live your life? You enjoy life? I sure do. You do. And so, um, Okay, and so you're the founder of Real Men. What, what type of guy, do they call you up, or do they, how do they get in contact with you? Hey, Joe, I, I mean, uh, Andy, I need you to help me live my life today. How do they? I have a podcast called, a podcast called Real Men Feel. It's uh, coming up on its sixth year anniversary, right. and it was just my way to reach out to guys. And so many guys I meet, they try to think through their emotions. They just think just through their problems. They think their brain is the only tool they have. But when we live from our hearts, 
when we allow ourselves to feel every emotion, a lot of guys think that there are some emotions that are for women and some are for men, and we are all human beings. Every man has the right to feel everything. And when he does, the problems don't linger. Old wounds don't resurface. You're not getting cut off in traffic and, and wanting to kill people, right? When you feel the emotion of the moment, the emotion flows through you, good or bad or indifferent, it flows through you. Emotions are energy in motion. When you're living from your heart, you can be a full man, you can be an empowered man, you can be a joyous man, you can be of service to other people, your family, your friends, your company. It, it, a man willing to feel makes for a better man, I find. I've noticed that men who feel and men who are into their emotions are women. They are women. They're like a woman. And if a man is emotional like a woman, how can the woman rely on him if he is as weak as she is? Emotions are not weakness. We're strong about emotions. What Willingness. Happened? It takes bravery. It takes courage. Hold to on a feel. minute, Andy. You, 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 you are. Well, your phone went. I just have your phone going off. You went out. We can't see you. I, I'm, I'm still here, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I hear you, but I can't see you. Oh, there you go. Okay. What that? Oh, his head. I win. Uh, I'm not too sure. Okay. All right. Um, men who are emotional are weak. And I could not they disagree are, more. They are no good. They're just like a woman. Why are you encouraging them to be like women? You are mistaken, sir. You are very mistaken. There is a strength in emotions. Like it takes what? the bravest man to feel. How it does not make you a woman. How, how is it brave to feel like a woman? It is brave to feel. A man feels like a man. A woman feels like a woman. By what? feeling does not make you a different member. Of, it, doesn't make you a, it doesn't change your gender by your willingness to feel. But I know it doesn't change your gender, but it changes your nature. You have the nature of a woman. What is, we what are is a man? What is a we man's? are human beings. Before we're a man, we're a human being. And human beings have emotions. What is a God ma made you with emotions. No, you did not. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. What is um, what does a man feel like? It's up to each man. What you what is a man's feeling? Do you feel like a man? I sure do. And what what describe your feeling that's like a man? My feelings are always different. My feelings are in the moment. Like what? My emotions tell me whether I'm on purpose or not. My emotions tell me how aligned with life that I am. Describe your emotions for me. They're always different. And describe the different emotions. There's joy, there's sadness, there's grief, there's shame, there's happiness, right? There's a full range. And but if you, and think, that be, if you that think being a man is being stoic, if you think being a man means having no emotions, you aren't living. And you saying that those feelings that you're having that, that you just described it, are men feeling. That's what a man feel like. Every man has the right to feel every emotion. No, but you're saying that those emotions are the emotion of a man. That's what a man feel like, right? No, I'm saying a man has the right to every emotion. Not just the ones I listed. Every uh, possible emotion is a man's emotion. And what does a woman feel like? The same emotions. So different man, degrees, different expressions. Describes a woman the type of emotions that a woman has. They have the same emotion that I expressed. And Shame, so, guilt, happiness. It's all there. We are human beings. And so... If a man is feeling like a woman and a woman feels like a man, how can they be of help to each other? A man feels like a man when he allows himself to feel what shows up in the moment. It is not feeling like a woman. You just the describe a woman feeling it. You just describe the man feeling they're both the same. I have described no feelings. I have named emotions. How, so how you express emotions, happiness and how I express happiness can be different. How a woman expresses happiness can be different. The expressions emotions of the emotions are different. Are emotions a feeling? Yeah, that's part of it. Emotions are a feeling. Are feelings, right? Yeah. So a man does feel like a woman. No. A woman and man are different things. A man can feel happiness. There's not one definition of happiness. There's not one definition of shame. They are expressed differently. A man feeling does not mind he's walking around weeping and, and weak. It doesn't mean weakness at all. There's a strength in emotion. What, what type of strength is in the emotion that you just named? <laughs> Vulnerability, authenticity, leadership. Those all come from your willingness to feel your emotions. A man should be vulnerable? 
Certainly. To what? To whatever he's feeling, to being honest with what he's feeling. Do you tell women your problems? If, if I had to, I, I, so I work with men. I have, I'm in men's groups. I have men clients. Would you, would you ever tell a woman your problems? Sure. And no what, how can she help you with your problems? Often the best help you can have with a problem is having someone just listen to you. They don't need to do anything. They don't need to fix anything. Well, why tell them when there's nothing they can do? Why would you tell them your problems? Because it makes you feel better. But when it doesn't solve your problem. It doesn't solve your problem. There's nothing to solve. But what's you pr ruminating your problem doesn't help anything. You sharing your problem can bring you relief. But when you want to be free from your problems... Keeping problems to yourself has nothing to do with freedom. What, what does it do to when you want to be free of your problems? It, it, I need a more specific thing. I, I don't know where you're going with this. There, there's no freedom in keeping things to yourself. That creates where, shame. That creates walls. But when you tell people your problems, especially women, all they're going to do is judge you because they know you're weak and pathetic. And women hate weak, pathetic men. You have met some weak, dangerous women in your life. I have not. I do not have any women in my life that that judge me or berate me or find me weak. You know what you think? Wait until you try to stand up. You'll see. <laughs> so let me ask. Um, um, do you I, I may have already asked this. Do you believe that you can overcome problems? Period. Yeah. Yes. And never have to go through them again. No, we, often we repeat problems because there's different layers, there's different depths. So we're not repeating the same thing if you learned it, but there are different levels of understanding. That's amazing. And what good, let's say a man is married. Are you married? I am. So you're married. And what good are you to your, you have children? I do not. What good would you be to your wife and children if you're acting just like the mother? It's not about acting like anyone except yourself. But you said the, mo the emotions that you describe are the same one that women have. What good are you to your wife if you're weak and pathetic and talking about your emotions and feelings just as she is? Because anyone talking about their emotions is not weak or pathetic. It is brave and strong and courageous. Where'd you get that from? That, that's from so life. not true. How, where'd you, you get no, that from? You are mis you are, you're completely mistaken. If your belief makes you have a happy life, good for you. But to tell everyone that that's how men are supposed to be, this is the danger. This is why men are dying at a higher and higher rate than ever before. Because they're told they're not supposed to feel. A man, a man sharing how he feels can save his life. Isn't it the men who are feeling the ones who are killing themselves? Men who overcome feelings don't kill themselves. No. No? No, nope, that's not my experience at all. Um, what is that symbol behind you? What does that mean? That's the logo for my podcast. It talks about the four archetypes of men. The king, the lover, the magician, the warrior. Uh. And a well-rounded man has all of that within them. Oh, amazing. Um, do children want weak fathers that feel like women? Children want fathers who feel. Oh, why do you say that? Because that's how they connect. I've heard so many guys talk about the only time they saw their dad ever cry was at the death of their own father. I've heard from so many guys that grow up with dads that can't say, I love you. That's what children want. But you're describing love. women. Those are women that act like that. Those are not real men. They have not wow. overcome their mama. I'm hanging up on you. This is ridiculous. You are doing a disservice to men. What do you mean have you nice hate? Don't be a beta male. Come back. Don't run. Beta. He ran? What the? Emotional. Yeah. He ran. Uh, Andy Grant ran. And because of that, Andy, you're going to get the chicken song. This song is for you, Andy. <laughs> See what emotions would do for you? Chicken! When y'all see Andy, 
running down the road, ask Andy, why did you run from Jesse and Andy? Were you that emotional? I did not expect Andy to run. Uh, Were you surprised? No, I wasn't surprised. And, and a lot of the things that he was saying, a lot of men feel that way, so I get what he's saying, but he's totally wrong about it. He doesn't understand it. Um, but guys feel that way because they don't know how to overcome it, so they accept it and say allows them to accept it and just, you know, show your emotion. But Andy, we didn't even get into kind of conversation he ran. What the? <laughs> you, sparked, you sparked something. See, folks, this is why you have to return to God so that he can guide you. No other human being can do it. If they're not pointing you back to God, the source that give his life, then you're in trouble. Just imagine these guys calling Andy up or watching Park Camp, whatever they're doing, and he's talking all this crap. And now he's running because he's an emotional man, like a woman. What the? Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.